Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the swearing in of the South African president will be taking place today. William Ruto was supposed to be in South Africa, but he decided that he will not go to South Africa. Instead, he will be, he will be sending his deputy, Rikanda Gashagwa, to represent him in South Africa uh, swearing event. And this is what Gashagwa shared on his social media before departing to South Africa. We continue cultivating, nurturing, and growing bilateral and diplomatic relationship with the Republic of South Africa from strength to strength for social economic gain of the people of our two nations. This evening, I left Nairobi for Pretoria, South Africa to represent our president, His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto, at the swearing-in of President-elect Cyril Ramaphosa as President of the Republic of South Africa. Now, two things here. Number one, Gashagwa shared photos on his social media. He had a reason why he was sharing those photos. We want to look into that. Secondly, Ruto had other options to use as usual. For example, if he's not going, he will be sending himself to Davanti. But this time around, he decided that it is Gashagwa whom he is going to send. He liked going outside, like such event they cannot miss, but he decided to sacrifice and send Gashagwa. <laughs> Why? We want to look into those two uh, issues, but before we go deeper into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Now, first of all, why did Ruto choose to or decide to send Gashagwa to South Africa? Because we are well aware that Gashagwa and William Ruto are not in good talking terms. You know, we are in a village setup, eh? so when you hear such a noise, from Cook there, we are in a village setup. So enjoy the noise as we continue with this discussion. Now, Ruto is trying to found, find a way to neutralize Gashagwa. In the eyes of many people from Mount Kenya region, they see Gashagwa being intimidated frustrated by Ruto handlers. Gashagwa made some noise that even the status bloggers want to control him. They want to tell him what to do. That even those friends close to William Ruto are frustrating him. He said it. So with this move, Ruto is trying to tell Mount Kenya region that Gashagwa is my deputy. I have no any differences with him. I am working with him and I am assigning him duties. So he's trying to change the narrative and uh, the perception among the people that the Shagwa is being kicked out of this administration. Duro does not want to assign him. He has allowed his friends to mistreat him. He's dealing with that. Actually, Going by what Gashagwa is alleging, if it is true, and of course it seems to be true, what Gashagwa is going through under William Ruto is a kind of similar of what Moi was going through under Kenyatta. Though the friends around Kenyatta they are the ones who are mistreating Moi. That is what is going on. So Ruto decided that I will not go and I will not send the Prime Cabinet Secretary and the CS for Foreign Affairs. Instead, I will have Gashaga to go there so that to neutralize this um, uh, politics that is emerging right now from Mount Kenya because he has, he has become unpopular for allowing leaders to disrespect Gashagwa. Secondly, Gashagwa has been busy in Mount Kenya. Send him out so that he's not here in Kenya. All over Nyeri, Moranga. Is it Moranga? Yes. 
and in his village Madira. So send him outside to spend some time outside rather than thinking to go to the village. He said, now he don't have that much time to be in the village. So Rura decided that because the noise is, is too much, Kashagwa is busy on top of Yeko. He has to give him some work and keep him busy elsewhere. And that's why he decided that Kashagwa were to attend South Africa. I will not say the Prime Seers or anyone else. Because you know they are using this time to push for Raila Odinga's candidature. Anywhere they go, they will be lobbying for Raila Odinga. So it will be either Mudavadi or Raila. Sorry, yes, Mudavadi, Ruto or Raila himself. But now it is Gashagwa, a man I believe he will not be campaigning for Raila Odinga. He will not. But they decided that we will sacrifice and send him in this event. So when he sacrifice what you have huku moto, Gashagwa amewasha moto. It is burning. Mount Kenya region is burning. So, send Gashagwa. Keep him busy elsewhere and try to neutralize the ground. Because now, he is leading a revolution that is different from what Ruto has been leading in Mount Kenya, which seems to be a threat to one William Samway Ruto future politics in Mount Kenya. So keep him busy elsewhere. Secondly, or third, now coming to Gashagwa, we saw Gashagwa using the Kenya Airways, KQ, the pride of Africa. Even the one I Kenya Airways, the pride of Africa. Now, by the fact that he decided to share these photos, he shared the photo of KQ flight. You can see it. Super amazing flight. And they shared some uh, fo more photos there when he's being served in the, on KQ, when he's arriving in on KQ, and the video is also outside. You see, when he entered, how he was received there, definitely by Kenya, uh, sell Kenya by Kenya. So he is here to promote product Kenya, which is against what his boss did when he had you know a chance to visit US he literally used a luxurious chartered flight from here US spending whooping 200 million Kenyan shillings just on flight so he was promoting another business from elsewhere. Saying that now, if we have world leaders and business, you know, people, they see that flight was using, and now they will start using it. So you are promoting business from elsewhere in Gulf. He in a talk of Kule Nini Gulf. Hai kukua Kenya hapa, ilikuwa UAE. So, Gashagwa is here to tell his boss that I am promoting Kenya. You remember even Ruto was forced to use KQ after Gashagwa used KQ to Mombasa and the videos were captured very well. He was carrying his own luggage, you know, proving that he is humble and above all, ni kama ata ajapewa wa saidisi. So it gave Ruto a hard time. He had to fly on KQ and share the photos. So Gashagwa made Ruto to take that decision. This time he's still continuing the same. A a KQ and a share. He's also showing that he is a humble person who does not extravagantly spend taxpayers' money. I'm a Tumia KQ business class. Pesa kidogi metumika, aende kule. Ushudu ya mwanita chotumika mibaya. Unlike his boss, William Ruto, who is abusing taxpayers' money. You would think that in Kenya there is no hunger. There is enough medicine in the hospital. Children have enough school fees to be in school. But it is complete opposite. Hakuna madawa kwa hospitali. Wanafuza wezi soma shuleni. Wadu lalala njaa Kenya. 
Lakini huyu jamaa kutumia ushuru wa mwananchi maskini anapanda ndege ya kifahari anaenda kule. Sagashakwa is a is a showdown with his boss. So in as much as sending Kashagwa outside, he is still on campaign, on the campaigning you, his boss. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.